Countless champions have been crowned throughout the history of competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! But what about the underdogs, the dark horses, the decks that upon first glance make you question everything you thought you knew about the game? In this series, both MBT and myself will be showcasing some of Yu-Gi-Oh!'s wackiest unsung heroes. Each episode will feature new decks, new strategies, and the results will be unpredictable. You've seen the history of Yu-Gi-Oh!, but this is the history of Jank. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code SEMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. Well, 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 another week out of the jank tank. Ugh. Folks, don't you think Simo looks so good in it? Let him know in the comments. I personally think it suits him. And that's why we're going to send him back to another week in it with this monstrosity, XYZ Dragon Cannon. Now, for those of you that don't know, last week, Simo and I took to Twitter and asked you, the viewers, what you'd like to see us play for the next one. You came up with two decks, Horus for Simo and XYZ Dragon Cannon for me, and... You couldn't have picked something else? This is a pile. Now, for those of you who are new to the Yugi sphere, before ABC, there was XYZ, one of Kaiba's ace archetypes. It combines three union monsters together into one powerful contact fusion, XYZ Dragon Cannon. And truth be told, XYZ Dragon Cannon is a really good card. It can discard a card and pop a card in opponent controls, no once per turn, and notably, we're playing with priority, so we can fire this ignition effect as many times as we want without our opponent really having too much of a window to respond. That said, getting this thing out is easier said than done. You need to control an X-Head Cannon, a Y-Dragon Head, and a Z-Metal Tank. And this isn't as hard as you would expect. There are some ways to keep one on the field by equipping it to another one, but the monsters aren't consistent, and you'll see why in a second. We're also playing what's called the Knight Assailant Loop. Now, we haven't had a chance to show this off yet, but Knight Assailant, when sent to the graveyard, can target a flip monster in the graveyard and put it back in your hand. That includes a second copy of Knight Assailant, and is why this card was limited for so long. You can loop them together as long as you have a discard outlet, and it just so happens that XYZ Dragon Cannon is a pretty good one. Now keep in mind that this entire combo with Knight Assailant is legal in Speed Duels, a format with 20 card decks, three of each individual card, no ban list or limited list, three copies of Foolish Burial, Union Hanger, and a skill that lets you summon XYZ Dragon Cannon like it was ABC. And the Knight Assailant portion of the deck is still too bricky to include. So I'm not too optimistic about our chances of pulling this off. However, if we do, it will be very funny. Let me walk you through the individual cards. First, we've got some Chaos Guys, Black Lesser Soldier, Envoy of the Beginning, and Chaos Sorcerer. These are in here so that we can banish pieces of Y Dragon Head, uh, Z Metal Tank, and X Head Cannon, and then bring them back with Dimension Fusion to summon XYZ in one turn. We've got Breaker of the Magical Warrior, Double Dekoichi, Double Knight Assailant, Sangan, Sinister Serpent, and then three of Y Dragon Head, three of Z Metal Tank, and three of X Head Cannon. Now, here's why these cards are particularly problematic. X Head Cannon is not a Union Monster. It is a normal monster with four stars and 1800 attack. Z Metal Tank is a Union Monster and can be equipped to X Head Cannon or Y Dragon Head, and Y Dragon Head is a Union Monster that can only be equipped to X Head Cannon. Get it? Yeah, me neither. Uh, it will become apparent in game just how troublesome the fact that these don't all equip to each other is. After that, we've got a copy of Heavy Storm, a Delinquent Duo, MST, Pot of Greed, Snatch Deal, Book of Moon, a second Book of Moon down here to trick people into thinking we're playing one, Premature Burial, two Noblemen of Crossout, a Graceful Charity, and two Dimension Fusion. For traps, we've got three Rivalry of Warlords. This is legal at the time and a great way to ensure we only have machine monsters on our side of the field and maybe our opponent is screwed up. We've got Call of the Haunted, we've got Mirror Force, we've got Ring of Destruction, we've got two Rare Metal Morph. This is a really fantastic card that I'm excited to be able to play and one Ceasefire to protect our monsters for a turn. So realistically, I don't think it's very likely we're going to get XYZ Dragon Cannon out, but even the smaller fusions are fine. Hopefully we'll get to show off these powerful purple cards against Alex's extremely strong deck. But it's a bit of a pipe dream if I'm being honest. I'm so upset. Like, I'm not upset that I'm in the Jank tank again. Like, I will happily accept the loss. I won't happily accept the loss when it's to what I lost to in the last episode. That must be what it feels like when I sack Joseph to death, because that was 
heartbreaking. The Leviathan Dragon, Daedalus, sure. If you want to just nuke me with that, that's fine. But when you're just demock looping and have like the unbeatable hand that is just, you're never going to beat that. You're never going to beat that. So here we are once again in the Jank Tank, ladies and gentlemen. Now, Joseph and I did a poll on our respective Twitter accounts to see which decks you would like us to play next. And for me, Horus was the deck that won. So we are bringing Horus to today's episode of history of jank gotta be honest i am so excited i've always loved horus i think this archetype is awesome there's so many cool things about it the art the effects and we're playing a very janky version of this deck so let's go ahead and do the card by card so first up we've got three copies of cyberstein now they this may be a bit of a suspicious inclusion but the reason for this and i shit you not the reason is to get into king dragoon now king dragoon is a fusion monster which does see play in go but typically doesn't really get summoned this card Card says your opponent cannot target dragon monsters with card effects. That's very important to make sure that Horus is able to stay established so that way it doesn't lose to a lot of other things in the format that do target. And once per turn, you can special summon one dragon monster from your hand. So this is pretty sick because if you Stein into this, then you can just immediately bring out a Horus Black Flame level four. It also doesn't say it has to be a level four or lower. It just says you can special summon a dragon from your hand. So you can just bring out Horus level six if you happen to have it. So there's actually some pretty neat synergy. I'm pretty sure you can't go into eight because it has to be specifically summoned off of the effect of a six but the fact that you immediately get a 2600 and a 2300 unaffected by spells and both can't be targeted that seems pretty damn good to me. We're also playing three Fusilar Dragon, the dual mode beast. Now, old school players may remember this from skill drain beatdown decks because it becomes a 2800 normal summon, but we're not playing it for that. The reason we're playing this is to be able to metamorphosis into a King Dragoon. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, this is a King Dragoon turbo deck, but also has a Horus flavor for it. I just think that's hysterical. It's a level seven, it goes into the King Dragoon, you're off to the races. Now we have three Horus level four, three Horus Horus level six and two Horus level eight. All these have abilities that nullify spells. I actually take that back. Horus level four doesn't nullify any spells. You just can't lose control of Horus to something like a brain control or a snatch deal, which is, you know, okay. It's a 1600 beater. It's not the best though. But if this card destroyed a monster by battle this turn, you can send this face up card to the graveyard, special summon a Horus level six from your deck. This card is unaffected by spell effects, which there are plenty of in the GOAT format. And then once again, if this destroyed a monster by battle during the end phase, you can special summon a level eight Horus from your hand or deck. And once this card hits the field, it's level eight and it negates all spell effects. This is just the Jinzo equivalent for spells on a 3000 body. This card is just insane. We've also got two copies of Kaiku, the Ghost Destroyer, a Sangen, a Sinister Serpent, and a Tsukiyomi wrapping up the monster count. For the spells, triple Book of Moon, two enemy controller, Graceful Charity, Heavy Storm, triple Metamorphosis. It's good for Scapegoat, but it's also good for Fusilor, so we want to max out. MST, two Noblemen, Pot of Greed, triple Scapegoat, and a Snatch Steel. And then we've just got three Royal Decree rounding out the main deck, because if we can establish Horus level eight plus Decree, yeah, yeah, we're still susceptible to some monster effects, but honestly, that is perfectly fine. I should also mention with Horus level eight, it does negate all spell effects, but you can pick and choose which ones you're negating. During either player's turn when a spell card is activated, you can negate the activation, and if you do destroy it, you must control this face-up card to activate and resolve this effect. So you can actually have your spells remain online while shutting down your opponent. So it's actually like a one-sided just spell canceler, which is even better than Jinzo in that case. The extra deck just has your typical cards you would find in a go deck obviously maxing out a little bit more on King Dragoon because this is actually a pretty central part of the strategy and then the side deck we got Breaker and Chiron the Mage for being able to destroy spells and traps as well as a Jinzo a tribe infecting virus Dolinko Duo Lightning Vortex Premature Burial in the spell department three Curse Seal the Forbidden Spell bit of an odd one because this card you know the fact that we can negate spells already I'm not sure what we're specifically trying to go after here but there are a lot of very good spells in this format so I guess and then Triple Trap Dust Shoot for when we're going first because dust shoot can just absolutely seal games by itself guys this is going to be a clusterfuck and i am so excited to see the power of not only horus but king dragoon ladies and gentlemen it's time to duel Joseph, you would think with me playing the Horus deck for this episode, I would have actually, you know, praised our Lord and Savior Horus by actually getting some sun and tanning for this episode. But I think I've actually uh, gone the opposite direction and gotten whiter 
since last time. And the fans will be able to know because I'm once again in the jank tank, which is unfortunate. But, you know, maybe if we win with Horace, I will have to uh, go ahead and praise him a little bit later. <laughs> I was going to say, I, I can just give you a heads up. Uh, you should schedule your tanning appointment now because you're going to be in that bad boy for at least another week if I have my way. <laughs> if you have it your way. But uh, I don't know. I think the fans are definitely going to have it their way because they did help pick the decks for this episode. And can I just say, they're just a bunch of masochists. I, like, I really appreciate you all. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's really bad matters to me that you all have such great opinions i don't know what to say i i'm i'm glad we are just showing off the absolute just bottom of the or i mean we're we're well through the bottom of that we're at the bottom of the ocean at this point uh it's 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 just awful it's uh, wild I'm to excited. look back at last week and be like levy a dragon chaos gate turbo yeah that's pretty playable compared to the rest of the shit on this list <laughs> I think the cool part about this, though, is that we're playing two decks that are very much inspired by childhood dreams, yep. right? Like, everyone watching the anime loved seeing XYZ Dragon Cannon. Yep. Uh, people who played the game prior, uh, Horus, just people love the Horus design just in general. And mm -hmm. so... I think it's going to be fun to just, you know, live out some of these dreams in probably the only way that we can ever capture on YouTube. So I think I'm, I'm going to be living out are, the reality of being unable to summon XYZ Dragon Cannon. <laughs> uh, sure. I think if you summon XYZ Dragon Cannon, you should just auto default win the whole thing because that would be an accomplishment in and of itself. But I'm ready if you are, buddy. I am ready. All right, let's go and shout the patron it is Nathan. Thank you for the support. How many refreshes are we doing, buddy? Let me guess. Let me guess. You want to do one refresh for each part of XYZ Dragon Cannon. Close. I want to do one refresh for each fusion that you can summon with the XYZ materials. So let me get four. Okay. So XY Dragon Cannon, XZ Tank Cannon, X or YZ Tank Dragon, <laughs> and finally XYZ Dragon Cannon. Are you kidding? I swear to God, this has got to be a bit. It's got to be a bit. There's no way I can be this consistently wrong. <laughs> I don't know what to say, buddy. I mean, if you want me, if how about this? How about for next time? Do you want to pick a new generator to send me and we'll go with that? Does next that make time you feel I want to pick another method of randomization. Here, I'm thinking of sure. a number. You decide if it's odd or even. Okay, that might be a better method of randomization. We'll try that. We'll see what the fans think. Good luck, though, buddy. Yeah. We're going to main one. I I don't know what I don't know what am I doing? I'm just looking at this hand. This hand looks insane, but like I don't even know what to do. I'll be honest. I'm glad one um, of ours does. Let's start with a normal summon of Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer. Anything but Stein, I'm feeling pretty good about. And I'll set two and pass. Go ahead. Stand by me. Think that I'm invisible. Ba, 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 Perfect. Ba, 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 I'm glad that this is exactly what the series has become, is you drawing all of the DM staples. And, and losing! Uh, and losing. <laughs> That's wow. True. Uh, you won last time. You won last time. I will say, looking at this hand, uh, you wouldn't know what it is. Uh, I'm going to set three. Okay. End phase will decree. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have no problem with that. We'll go to main one. I'm going to normal summon cyber stuff. <laughs> will you be doing anything with ignition priority? I would like to pay 5,000 life points if you'll allow it. <laughs> well, I guess I will. Go ahead, buddy. We are going to bring out Duel Monsters' greatest creation, King Dragoon! <laughs> This is not real. <laughs> Wait, this, this is, is 100% real. real. Okay, and so you know what? <laughs> walk me through King Dragoon. What does this do? It prevents me from so targeting any dragons, including itself? Any dragon. And guess what? It also has another effect that you can special summon a dragon from your hand once per turn, which I will be activating to summon Horus the Black Flame Dragon level 6. <laughs> Are you shitting with me? <laughs> Are you pooping in my mouth? What the hell am I supposed to do about this? We'll find out, buddy. Battle phase. Let's hit. Oh, but what if what if it doesn't destroy this monster by battle? How foolish. Well, if it's a spirit reaper, it's a spirit reaper. Let's see it. It's not a spirit reaper. It's a Takoichi. Oh, we are actually living the dream. So you get your draw. I'm going to attempt to hit in with everything else here. So seven. Uh, seven's fine, yeah. 18. 18 is also fine. And I'll use that Kaiko effect to get that oh, wait, Takoichi I out. completely lied to you. I forgot that I can't target the King Dragoon, so I'll just Book of Moon this piece of shit, I guess. Okay, sure. You can't, yep, can't target the dragons. Uh, unfortunately, I can't negate that with Horus uh, yet anyway. And I will hit for 24 with King Dragoon. I'll take it. And then Joseph, during the end phase, great beast from the sky, hear my cry. I sacrifice my Horus level six to summon from my deck, Horus the Black Flame Dragon level eight. <laughs> Go ahead, buddy. <laughs> this isn't a once per turn. Oh, it is not a once per turn.
per turn, buddy. It is not a once per turn. Right, so no spells, no traps. What do you got? <laughs> Let me just make sure I got this right. I can't <laughs> activate any spells or they'll be negated. Correct. I can't activate any traps or they'll be negated. Correct. I can't target any of your dragon monsters with card effects. Correct. What the fuck do you want me to do? <laughs> You have the Cyberstein you could hit. Oh, oh, do I ever. Oh, God. Okay, uh, I'm going to set uh, five cards. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to set a sixth card, and you are good to go. All right, we're going to hope for the best here. I'm going to draw. Oh, my God. Yeah, go for it, buddy. <laughs> what, what could you possibly do? What could I possibly do? That's the question. <laughs> so the only problem with this strategy is that, obviously, I still have to worry about monster effects. And, you know, monster effects I hear in Yu-Gi-Oh! are pretty good. <laughs> They're all right. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of them target, I've heard. Eh, yeah, screw it. All right, I'm going to flip up Kaiku. I'm going to go to battle. Battle is fine. I'm going to lead with the Horus Assault. Okay, I'm going to activate Rivalry of Warlords. Okay. Uh, then I will flip my Knight Assailant. Uh, I will target your Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer. Going to go after Kaiku here. Uh, yeah. I suppose that's fine. Then I'll hit for 24 with the Dragoon. Thinking if I want to go for the Stein, sure. I mean, you already took it off, but fine. <laughs> uh, I was thinking I, if there's like know. any reason. I'm thinking if there's like any reason to like put this thing to defense otherwise. I'll just go to second main. I don't know if I'm doing anything. I'm just, I'm, I'm chilling. Go ahead, buddy. Go ahead. Uh, stand by main. All good. All right. I'm going to activate Snatch Deal targeting your cyberstein do i want to negate this like i can negate it but like do i care if you have cyberstein you can't pay for the cost you can do some other stupid shit fuck it i'll negate it i don't care i'm gonna go call of the haunted targeting dekoichi the battle chanted locomotive sure okay i'm gonna normal summon sangan okay uh, i'm gonna go to battle i'll attack into the cyberstein sure i'll take the 300 from that and then we'll uh go to game two how's that sound buddy <laughs> <It sounds good. laughs> holy shit i was like where is this going <laughs> it's going to the sideboard screen screen. <laughs> Thanks, Twitter. Thank you so much. I, <laughs> I'm so glad I got to experience that. What a fun, interesting game. Walk me through it. Was that all in your opener? Uh, no. So if it makes you feel any better, I drew the Horus level six for turn, oh, but course. everything else was in my opener. Oh, of course. Okay, 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 okay. Listen, I've played Reaper format. I know the name of this game. I simply will not allow you to summon Cyberstein. That's an easy solution. I think that <laughs> exactly. makes sense. Let's just see you do it. Uh, I'm working <laughs> on it, buddy. Oh, that is interesting. Okay, stand by main. I uh, agreed. All good. Let's see. I'm gonna go one two, three. There is no such thing as Heavy Storm. Okay, I'm going to care just a little bit about Heavy Storm. Go ahead. <laughs> just a little bit. We'll draw. Yep. We'll go to main one. Uh, let's start with firing off a duo. Uh, okay, and we'll just, uh, we'll put this back real quick. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, roll your die. Okay, uh, we'll go for this one. Ah. Uh, should have said it. Is that what you were trying to set? <laughs> uh, I am going to send to the graveyard a knight assailant. You are simply uh, making it too easy for me, baby. I just got to find one more and I have the loop. You have the loop, the unbreakable loop. Uh, I will simply set a couple cards face down myself. Uh, actually, I'll set more than a couple. I'll set a few. Go ahead. Stand by me. Normal summon Sangan. Combat. Yep. I'll take it. Okay. Go ahead. I'm very close to being out of Stein range, Joseph. I know. Let's go ahead and knock the set. Don't do that! <laughs> I need these cards! <laughs> Doesn't this deck play like Dimension Fusion, though? So, like, you can get yeah, them yeah, back. It's all part of the plan. Yeah, exactly. You just wanted me to banish it. You were very close to making the YZ tank dragon, and then we'd really be screwed. Uh, I'll just pass. Go ahead, buddy. All right. I mean, this gets you out of Stein range, I guess. Um, I'm going to... Do I play around Torrential or do I play around Ring of Destruction? They're both one ofs. You're on like... You're on Royal Decree main. You're not on any of that shit. I'm playing around Book of Moon. Normal Z-Metal tank. The Z-Metal tank has emerged. That's fine. Combat. I will scapegoat here. Ah, okay. That's fine. I imagine you're going to take two of them out. I will if you'll allow it. Sure. Go ahead. Okay. We'll draw. Head over to main one here. I am going to activate enemy controller. I'm going to tribute a token and target your Z metal tank. I will chain rivalry of warlords. So this will actually prevent me from getting the Z metal tank because <laughs> I already control a non-machine monster. Uh, I will space the rivalry. Okay. Well, I don't know what I really expected here. Sure. Tried. Got a last one? Nope. 
Nothing else. Okay. Uh, goodbye, Metal Tank. Hello, Horus. There he is. We'll try to hit. I'll take, what, 13 here? <gasps> it's happening. Yep, get your sink and search. All right, let's search. Um, I kind of want to search Night Assailant. I can't search X-Head Cannon. Fuck. Uh, okay. <laughs> You're uh, so close. Night Assailant it is. Night Assailant's the pick. All right, uh, I'll go to the end phase. And once again, we'll use the effects. We will bring out the Lord <laughs> Horus level eight. I can't believe we did this two games in a row. <laughs> well, at least I can target this one. You can target this one. So that makes things a little bit easier, uh, unfortunately. Unfortunately, uh, go ahead. Stand by me. Go ahead. Could be anything. Could be anything. Could be anything. Go to main one. Uh, this Horus is not long for this earth, I can imagine. So I will run out a Sangen. Yep. I know you're going to go after the Horus. So I might as well attack with it and get some damage in. Uh, it is actually Dekoichi, the battle chanted locomotive. Oh, okay. Uh, so oh. you'll get your draw. I, I needed to, uh, you know, hit through it anyway, because Sangen was going to hit shit. And uh, I will pass from there. Go ahead. Okay, come on. Well, that's interesting. Oh, God. I'm going to banish a light and a dark. That is a play. Right. What do you got? It's not as sexy as I wish it was. It uh, is Chaos Sword. Okay. And I'm going to banish still the pretty good. Horus. Horus is no more. Uh, I'm going to set one card. Oh, God. The Dimension Fusion is almost live. And I have the Night Assailant in hand. If I draw it, buddy, do you know how many triggers of YZ Tank Head I'm going to get? Oh! Oh. <laughs> Go ahead. It's going to be over. All right, I'll draw. Yep. It's not great. I think I'm going to go to battle. Yep. I think I'm going to crash Sangen into Chaos Orc. Oh, before I banish it. That's fine. Yeah. I don't want you banishing this, so I'll take the 13. I at least get the search here, which isn't terrible. It's kind of crusty because it does put you out of Stein range. Yeah, that's the thing I'm not excited about. And I'll be honest, I don't have many other Sangen targets besides Stein. Uh, I guess I will take a Tsukiyomi. Uh, second main, I'm going to set one and pass it to you. I'll draw for turn. Stand by main. Oh, you've got All good. kidding. All right, I'm going to flip summon a Z-Metal Tank. The Z-Metal Tank is fine. I'm going to normal summon a Sinister Serpent. <laughs> sure. Uh, let's go Serpent into the token. Gone. You would tell me if that was anything other than Tsukiyomi, right? Of course, absolutely. All right, I I'll attack the Tsukiyomi. It's my Sinister Serpent. <laughs> and then I'll get indirect. I'll take the 23. It's fine. All right, go ahead, buddy. Draw. Stand by. We shall return the serpent to hand. Yep. Go to main one. Uh, it's not looking pretty, if I'm being honest here. I beg you. You must let me summon a fusion. I mean, you're getting pretty close. <laughs> I just need any piece. Getting... Any fucking piece. I'll take X. I'll take Y. I'll take Z. <laughs> We've got two Ys and three Xs remaining. Five hits in my 25 card deck. Um, I'm going to run out Fusilar Dragon, the dual mode B. <laughs> <laughs> that's a card. Yeah, that's fine with me, buddy. Uh, on normal summon, because I did it without a tribute, his attack and defense become halved. I will go to battle and hit your Sinister Serpent. You do that. That's how much here? 1,100. Sure. Uh, second main, I will set a card and I'll throw it to you. Stand by. Give me this guy back. Yep. Well, I drew a piece. It is unfortunately the second Z-Metal tank. Oh, that's so depressing. Oh. <laughs> uh... When are they going to make the fusions that require two of multiple or the same one? Exactly. When are we going to have like double X head cannon? <laughs> uh, I'll just go for a Chaos Orc here targeting Fusilier. Yes. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. In response to that, I'm going to Book of Moon my Fusilier <laughs> Dragon. Wow. That's kind of cool. Is that fine? Yeah, that's fine. So he, okay. he is a 2,800 attack point monster. Correct. Well, unfortunately, Correct. he's also face down, so knock. Oh, come on. It was so cool. And now right. my twin Z metal tanks. Take them up, boys. You got it. You got <laughs> it. Oh, my God. It was so cool, and it didn't happen. Damn. Well, buddy, uh, this is your last chance to summon not just XYZ Dragon Cannon, but any XYZ Fusion, period. Uh, you've come very close. Uh, you've just had not the correct pieces, <laughs> just duplicate pieces. Do you think you can pull it off, buddy? How are you I feeling? I do. I almost let you live that game. I had the entire combo. I had all the pieces. I had the Night Assailant in hand. I was going to pop all the way off, but you simply had to run out of life points first. That was not very, not very cool of you. Tragic. To be honest. Yeah. Right. I know how, how inconsiderate of me to the viewers to, you know, do that so quickly, but Here's what it is. Uh, I will go first, and similar to last game, I've got a duo to kick things off, which isn't bad. Okay, let's see what we let's hopefully here. see if we can get something good. Uh, okay, I needed that card. Um, okay. Uh, given that, I'm going to pitch a Chaos Sorcerer. Chaos Sorcerer gone, eh? That's a pretty good one. And then following that up, I guess I'll 
run out a Fusilar Dragon. I'll set one and throw it to you, buddy. Stand by me. I will put this token here to denote that he is a dinky Fusilar Dragon currently. All right, I'm going to normal summon X-Head Cannon. First time we're seeing this boy. That's fine. I will attack for 18. I will book again. Let's see if the knock once more. I'll take two here. Because yep. the monster is, you know, the same monster and the number hasn't changed, there's no replay available <laughs> and no window to knock. There is, however, a window to snatch deal, and I'm going to do that. Oh, here. lame. All right. Uh, you got him. Behold my enormous fusilier. And I'll switch him to attack too. Go ahead. Are you allowed to switch him to attack? I don't know. So his battle phase hasn't been switched using the one mechanical one you're given a turn, but he did participate in combat. So I don't know. Right. I'm, I'm not exactly sure. You should probably look this up because I could matter. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can. Well, okay. well, well. How will you beat your own Fusilier, Alex? I mean, it... <laughs> that could be a way I'll try. Yeah. Uh, we'll go to main one. Let's see if we can beat my own Fusilier. That is the question. All right. Uh, well, I, I, I've got a way to beat him, but it's not the most ideal way to beat him. <laughs> well, there he is. There's the boy. Oh, don't forget your extra thousand. Uh, oh, from Snatch Steel. Thank you. I appreciate that. So that actually, you know, softens the blow a little bit. Uh, so I can go summoning here. The problem is as much as I want to go for a King Dragoon, I don't think that's wise considering I cannot hit over my own Fusilier. I do have something very funny to go into the Fusilier, but it's terrible and I'm not going to do it. I could summon this Master of Oz, but I'm oh. going to refrain from doing so. <laughs> oh, come on. You're denying Oz his, his history of jank? Uh, I am, because I'm going to go for Blow or Gatling Dragon Ooh. instead. I think this is a little bit better. Yeah, Master of Oz almost made the history of Jank appearance, uh, but unfortunately, I think Gatling gonna, Dragon's going to do a slightly better job to clean up the board here. You are going to look like a fucking idiot when this card flips three tails. Yep, I will. I will 100% allow that to happen. You ready, buddy? Let's oh, I'm work. ready. That's Fuck. one. Let's go. Fuck Gatling Dragon. Gatling dragon. Uh, oh, thank God. Okay. Thank God. Thank God. Uh, now if I can go two for three, I'd feel really good about this. Wow. Oh, okay. buddy. Get him out. Get him yeah, out. Yeah, get him yeah. out. Get him yeah, out. Get him yeah, out. Yeah. Get him out. Get him out. Get him out. Get him out. Attack. 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 3,300 right. uh, damage to the face. All right, buddy. I'm only on 3k. So, you know, if you can finish me off, go ahead. Uh, I'm close. So I have a copy of Black Luster Soldier Envoy at the beginning in my hand. Holy shit. But I think that's just a little bit off. It's 23 plus four, right? So 27. Until. 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 Why? Dragon head descends to the field. Unbelievable. To, to deliver the killing Unbelievable. blow. Unbelievable. <laughs> wow. Ah, the greatest deck in all the land. Draw for turn was graceful charity. Ooh, did not even oh, need it, baby. Didn't even need it. Didn't even need it. For what oh. it's worth, I had a Sukiyomi, a Horus, and I had a Fusilar Dragon. So, like, I had to make the Stein play. I didn't have a choice. Uh, you could have gone Stein into King Dragoon into Fusilar Dragon to crash. That's Fusilar Dragon bad. is, in fact, not a dragon. It's a machine. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> If it was a dragon, I actually probably would have done that because that would have been a slightly better setup. To be fair, it still would have lost a BLS Y dragon head, yeah, so it wouldn't have mattered. You know what wouldn't have lost a BLS Y dragon head? Master of Oz, baby. <laughs> You know, you said it. Yeah, you're right. No, you could have just banished it, but I guess I wouldn't have been yeah, dead. Yeah. Uh, so you could, okay, let's, let me think about this. So you could have banished Master of Oz, hit with Y Dragon Head. Oh, you had Graceful Charity. I, so, so would you have been able to kill me with these? If I, if I didn't have, so these are just more garbage. So if we put these Oh, on you still would have head, had the X Head Cannon anyway. Yeah. Yeah, we would have gone uh, BLS, banish the Master of Oz, uh, and then we would normal summon the X Head Cannon, uh, and then we would banish these, go for, what is this, XZ? XY Dragon Cannon. Uh, which destroys face-up spell traps. Oh, perfect. So it wasn't doing anything. <laughs> we we would not have been able to kill you. The Graceful Charity draws into uh, two XYZ pieces and Rivalry of Warlords. I see. Wow. I see. <laughs> I mean, I, yeah, so even if I had gone for Master of Oz, it still was not going to happen. What a silly-ass game. 
Hilarious. Uh, my next draw would have. Oh, oh, oh there, there is what I needed. There I needed one that for the off. King Dragoon. Yeah, one card. It still wouldn't have cleared my own Fusilor Dragon, funny enough. You know, it is what it is. I do like that the XY Dragon pieces can actually go into like chaos, which, you know, go, gate, go format going into chaos, like whatever. But I'm actually you know, surprised that it showed up as much as it did. This deck right. is on one Sork, one BLS, and nothing else for chaos. It's on three of each so of the much pieces. Better. But I makes drew me these feel so <laughs> much better. Makes me feel so much better that you drew both of them in your opening hand, which, by the way, I do missed own. with Delinquent Duo. Oh, uh, uh, you know, sometimes the better player just wins. <laughs> Sometimes, sometimes. Oh uh, this was God. a lot of fun, though. I'm happy we got to show these off. I don't think anyone will ever believe that if you tell them that these are the two decks that are playing, what the outcome of this game would have been, uh, or if it would have happened in the way that it did. But hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. These, I think it, the best part, aside from you not actually summoning a fusion, was the fact that we actually got to just see both of these decks just like doing what they're supposed to do. Because let's be honest, you actually going into a fusion is a bit of a pipe dream and a trap. <laughs> so. Yeah. Uh, it also, yeah, it is, like you said, it's a trap because you're two for one in yourself. There's so much removal in this format. They just flip a ring of destruction or a book of moon and you lose the entire game. It's awful. Yep. But the it's monsters terrible. themselves are so sick. I know them from speed duels, where in order to make this deck playable, you know, they have 20 card decks, no forbidden limited list, Night Assailant Legal, Foolish Burial at three, Union <laughs> Hanger, and they still had to give it a skill where you can banish the materials from your grave to pay for the uh, po the costs to summon it from the extra deck. Like it's Oh, so they give it the ABC <laughs> Dragon Buster Clause, basically? They are that unsummonable. I, if any wow. of those things were different, maybe we could have gone into the fusions, but as is, uh, basically what this deck is, is just a couple of cute ways to maybe dimension fusion out of fusion, but most Mostly, you're trying to, like, equip the Y Dragon Head to the X Head Cannon to make a 2200 attack point monster that's, like, kind of resistant to removal, and then you flip up a rivalry right. of Warlords. Like, that's the whole deck. And, uh, right. unfortunately, that's a lot less sexy. For real. And, I mean, with my deck, I'm happy we at least got to show off the King this Dragoon combo. So because. Cool. So sick. Also, the Fusil or Dragon Book of Moon thing, I, I, I didn't think that was actually going to come up, but the fact that you just have a 2,800 monster on the field, like, that's massive. That's actually very hard to deal with a lot of the time. There's plenty of removal, but if you have just, like, the circumstances just perfect, and the fact that this is a meta target for King Dragoon on top of it, silly. Absolutely silly. You're playing the Tsukiyomi to be able to flip it down as well, so you can actually just get it to 28 without wasting a Book of Moon. Just hilarious. Absolutely hilarious, and I'm so happy that we got to show this off this deck was so cool so much fun uh, i wish the outcome was different obviously because i'll be in the jank tank yet again and uh this actually means joseph that you have taken control of the series congratulations buddy yeah i don't i don't know how much it matters in the jank series <laughs> yeah it doesn't like, matter damn dude you really uh did your stupid janky combo before <laughs> i did congratulations uh, I I'm, think this is a bit more dignifying losing to this than losing to Demok, Premature Burial, Graceful Charity, Graceful Charity. Nothing water related in the last episode. <laughs> True. I got to say, um, I, I love that uh, bullshit in goat format specifically if you're not ftking it always seems to go one of two ways either it's going through demock the levier stuff that or the nevi the neo dedulous stuff that we showed um even went through like the demock lines or it's going through cyberstein this card is yep. criminally underplayed both in this format and the next one reaper it really historically did not see a lot of play at all but boy oh boy is it a house and a half and not just because it can summon master of oz i mean you know magical scientist was banned for a reason right and stein yep. is arguably better in a lot of ways because it can summon a much wider breadth of monsters <laughs> Imagine but magical thinking, scientist you know a magical scientist only costs 1000 surely if it costs 5000 people won't play it <laughs> right and the answer but is but you can't no. summon king dragoon off of exactly. magical scientist garbage <laughs> card bring it back we still have plenty of jank options for the next several episodes that the fans voted on and next episode i think is going to be a very exciting one as well i don't think we should spoil it the people who voted on twitter may have an idea of where we're going but it's gonna be fun it's, it's going gonna be, to be <laughs> it's gonna be fun for one of us hey you know what i thought this one wasn't gonna work out so maybe next week will work out as well but uh let's just say folks that uh i may be um i may be donning a mask and i may be uh praying to uh jaden yuki in our next episode <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, uh, let's just say uh, it is not lost upon us this millennium that, <laughs> that uh, uh, I'm getting my ass beat. I, I'm going to come in with a stone cold gaze that I don't even know at this point. I'm trying, to, I'm trying Listen, way too hard. We're, but. we're, we're, we're just going to beat this joke to death. Uh, you're going to have to listen to these jokes and appreciate the comedy we do give you while you're sitting through the unwatchable ass fest that is the next episode so guys that's gonna wrap it up for this episode of the history of jank looks like i have some sun god praying to do as a result of losing to this but it is what it is so we have to shout the patrons as always so big shouts to shout 1317 moto sean allen jr cameron smith and geoko tim 0 x3 ike iron frank pony starkey and musa michael dente par 2 dan the menhoven sinker guy ole mystic walk sylvia wild straight conic rock slide dolly Op, logan thomas peter gregory thomas nelson colty jordan coons calvin iron bladesman pure ace jesse wood true nerd gasm brother paul chris hood lumpy nayu celeste david lee Rockley 325, Yusuf Aslan 05, Lane Rogers, Chat God, Silent Agent 216, I side in Grand Maju and Salad, Sky Rose, Dylan Hunter, Brett Harvey, John 2 Base, App at the Astro, Brody Eastwood, Day Sir, Carlos DT, Flannel Daddy, Give Me Speed Rider, Give Me Death, MBT's Hard Leg, Asling Jensen, Cyber P on Perp 6, TC Gaming, Matthew Brady, Edison Format, Ash Blossom Toe Sniffer. That's a new Shut joke. Up. Why are they so no. horny? Stop. Why are they so horny? What is wrong with you people? <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Solace, Max Mercero, and Tom Russell. Thank you so much for watching the video, and we will see you next time.